at you from Diamond Bee Farm. Today we're doing a DIY weed wiper and Kevin's going to be telling you how to do it. Today we're building a weed wiper for a ATV so we're going to just use a small piece of two inch PVC. We've got 190. You can either use a small one or a sweet and then we're going to use a, a cap on the other end and you need the adapter for the cap too. Also, we're going to use these cord grips, half inch diameter. They're uh, they're electrical, actually. They're not they're not for plumbing. They're they're uh, for electric cord. But we're also going to use a half inch diameter rope to go through them. Then we're going to use a flat screwdriver, a small piece of string, a lighter, a razor, needle nose pliers crescent wrench, a three quarter inch drill. And that's pretty much all we're gonna to use to build the whole thing. This is kind of a close up of some of the, some of the cord and the string and the, that we're using, just so that you can kind of see it a little better. I did is mark my PVC pipe 15 inches for the first two, then I skipped three inches and went 15 more. I'm gonna drill those holes with a three quarter inch bit. just perfect in line. After you get all of your holes on your 15 inch spacing, where you have a gap between, your, your rope will go from this hole to this hole, and then from this hole to this hole. So you need something to cover that gap there. So if you'll rotate your pipe just a little bit, Drill another hole before you get to those, and another hole after. You'll have room for your second wick to go on there that picks up where you missed here. If you'll look up here at this one, here's my first set of holes here. These are my second set of holes here. That, that takes up that gap there. Okay, your half inch cord grip has got a half inch diameter hole in this little rubber piece that expands. When you tighten the top down, it expands and closes up on your on your rope. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that apart and we're gonna screw, make sure you screw the right end, the one with the big threads, into the PVC pipe. Now you can get these in PVC, but I didn't know that and they'll probably be a little cheaper but I didn't know that before I bought these. So what we want to try to do is get it started straight. But if it don't start straight, it's no problem. I'm going to put this on there to protect my thumb. I'm just going to push it down with my thumb and starting it in the hole. I even have to use my hand. Okay. But we gotta screw one all the way in in all of our holes. Okay, after you get, I've already got one of these done, and I'm just going to show you how to get it started in your cord. 
grip. And before you drill all your holes, it's a good idea to make a have a little test piece to make sure your drill is going to drill the right size hole. So after I get these in, And what I did is I just eyeballed where I wanted my loop, where they'd all be about the same. And I want it sticking up in there a little ways. So I mark it with my thumb. I take this little small string and wrap around it twice. and then tie it off real good and tight. That way when I take my razor blade and cut above that line about a half inch above your string. That keeps it from unraveling. And if I take and pull those two small strings back, take my lighter. The wind's blowing a lot today. It's going to be hard to... I don't think it's going to do it. And burn the edges back. After they get burnt back pretty good, I take and push them up, but now watch them because they are hot. Okay. Now I'm gonna take my two small strings that I tied around there. I'm gonna run the metal end on. And it's generally, if you'll put just a little pressure on the strings and push and use a flat screwdriver. and just push it down in the hole while you're pull, putting a little pressure on it. It'll go right through. All right, that was the easy one. Now make sure you put the rubber one on the way it's supposed to go on. It's a little more difficult because it bends. Put just a little pressure on it, take your flat screwdriver and just keep it working. Turn it a little bit, put a little pressure on it till it all goes in. Then pull it up to ever how much you want to stay in your tube. So that's going to be 
little longer. So we'll pull it just a little more to about right there is where we want it. So we'll take our razor and cut our string off. And this cord that we're using has got, it's nylon on the outside, but it's got a wick on the inside. That's what wicks your roundup down in your cord. So now that we've made a mess of that, we'll try to get it stuck up in the hole. And we'll pull the Tighten this up. Okay. Now, once you get all of those done, you're ready to glue your cap on the end where your roundup won't come out. Glue your nanny on the other end, and I just put a little extension on here, and then I glued my cap and the other fitting on here. So I can pour my half roundup, half water, one to one, in here. And what I'll do with that, I did build a little frame, since I had some extra metal at the house, I built mine out of metal. Two pieces of two before would work just fine, I'm pretty sure. Probably just two tree limbs would work. And uh, just tie it to your four-wheeler some way. I made mine adjustable where I can adjust it. But uh, anything would work, and any size pipe will work. And uh, now we're ready to fill it up and go wick some Johnson grass. And I forgot to mention, when you tie your rope around your cord, if you'll move up about an inch and tie another one around it, when you cut your your rope, it won't ravel on the other end either. You already have it tied off. I think it's a good picture of it. Anytime I mix my spray, I always mix some up with a little water before I put it in here to make sure it all goes in. One little okay. All right, anytime I use any spray, I always try to wear gloves if I can. You gotta really watch this stuff foams up pretty good whenever you're adding water to it. But it's gonna take close to a gallon to fill the whole thing up. I guess I probably should have checked it for leaks first. But I didn't. So far, I'm going to take about a gallon and a half for this one. It's seven foot long.
tell you, that looks pretty full. But it must be soaking up in those wicks because it's going down slowly. I do dripping that I'm going to tighten up just a little bit. I do have one dripping, so I'm going to tighten it up just a little bit. Probably that much right there. There we go. I think that's pretty much got it. They're still loose. Okay. You ready to go wipe weeds? I'm ready to go wipe weeds. later and the reason why we uh, wanted to make a weed wiper to to um, kill the Johnson grass is because it builds up a pasuric acid on it after it when it, during the frost which is very toxic to horse and cattle so and that's what we feed so I hope you like the video and if you have any questions or comments, don't forget to hit the thumbs up or thumbs down button. Leave us a comment and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thanks.